हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर ऑनलाइन चैनल माई सब चेतन जाधव सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन दैट द वट इज़ द डी एन सी जस्ट ओवरऑल ओवरऑल इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द डी एन सी वट इज़ द मीनिंग ऑफ द सेंट्रल कंप्यूटर बाई यूजिंग दिस डिफरेंट डिफरेंट मशीन्स वी आर गोइंग टू इंटरकनेक्ट विच ईच ऑफ दर एंड वी आर सेंडिंग द इन्फॉर्मेशन टू द रिक्वायर्ड मशीन्स सो वी विल सी द नेक्स्ट पार्ट दैट इज कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द डी एन सी in that uh, first that is a central and main frame computer uh, by using this main frame or central computer we are going to give the instruction and we are sending the part program as a required machines only to call or send the part program to individual machines as per the requirements second bulk memory to store the all the part programs required for all cnc machine tools we are going to store the part program in the bulk memory section and we are going to circulate that part program whichever which machine is required for that machine only we are going to supply that part program teleconnection lines by using this teleconnection line we are going to interconnect the different different machine to a single machine that is a central machine to communicate purpose we are going to connect this uh, all the system to the one central computer next post processor to convert this instruction into the particular coding system as per particular machine tools Uh, we are giving as input as a part program. From that part program, we are converting that instruction, decoding that instruction to the particular coding system as per the requirement the requirement of the machine tool. And last one, machine tools. Uh, example: NC milling, NC lathe. These are the example of the machine tools. So this is the uh, these are the components of the DNC. So you will see the next part. that is a, a types of the dnc in that uh, first type is behind the tape reader system behind the tape reader means we are eliminating the tape reader from the system and we are giving the input in terms of the program from the computers or teleconnection lines now we can see here this is the central computer unit in that side bulk memory nc program in that we are going to store the our part program and this is the different different machines machines uh, uh, along with we are connecting by using this uh, teleconnection lines to the central computer and bulk storage so in that uh, system uh, in this system computer is linked to the regular nc control unit the replacement of the tape reader by the teleconnection lines to the dnc computer is gives btr name to it okay so this is the first type of the dnc so we will see the next type that is the second type uh special machine control unit okay uh, as compared to previous one only one um, uh, part is uh, uh, inserted in between that computer and machines that is a special machine control unit uh this type in dnc is eliminated the regular cnc nc controller and replace it with the special machine control unit that is a mcu facilitate the communication between the machine tool and the computer that uh, what is the function of the mcu mcu actually uh, communicate in between the machine tools and computer that is the dns computer that is a major work of the special mcu okay so this is the second type so we will see the benefits of the direct numerical control machines it provides greater flexibility we are using Uh, automated uh, machines, so we will get the more flexibility to change the program, change the management system. So it will be automatically improve the method or alter the method. Second, it eliminates the use of the punch tape and punch uh, tape reader. So in that uh, previous chapter, in this system, they are going to use as an input uh, device uh, as a punch tape and tape readers. But in that system, C N C D N C, we are going to eliminate this system and we are going to use as an input device to computer. and teleconnection lines to transfer the uh, part program uh, to central computer to the machine tool third one is it has more computational capability because of the use of the software rather than hardware devices in that nc system is a uh, hardware devices uh, but in that cnc dnc it is a soft, totally based on the software so we will uh, give the more computational capability to uh, doing the operations or machining purpose Uh, it collects processes and reports the reproduction performance data from the nc machines uh from the nc machines we are getting um, 
रिपोर्ट्स रिगार्डिंग दैट मशीनिंग और प्रोग्रामिंग सो वील कलेक्ट दैट ऑल द रिपोर्ट्स एंड प्रोडक्शन डेटा एंड वी विल स्टोर आउट करेट एट वन प्लेस दैट फैसिलिटी वी विल प्रोवाइड इन दैट सिस्टम इट प्रोवाइड सेंट्रल कंट्रोल ऑफ द मशीन टूल्स इन दिस सिस्टम वी आर कंट्रोलिंग द ऑल द मशीनिंग फ्रॉम द सेंट्रल कंप्यूटर सो दैट फैसिलिटी वी हैव टू प्रोवाइडेड नेक्स्ट सिक्स इट इंक्रीजेस द प्रोडक्टिविटी एंड सेव द टाइम as compared to the uh, conventional machining in this cnc dns machining uh, by using this machining we can use this machine uh, uh, long time so we will get uh, more production it will be increase the productivity and it will be save times seven it provides a convenient storage of the nc part program in the computer files already we have seen in that uh, dns part program uh, types Uh, you have seen that one uh, block is there that is a bulk memory nc program so from that we have store a uh, store the part program and as per requirement of the machine tool we are going to distribute or supply that part program to different different machine tools so this is the benefits of the dnc so next uh, drawbacks or limitation of the dnc first that is a high cost of the computer hardware obviously we are using the autom automated machine so it cost will be high the number of the machines which could be controlled by one computer was limited so here one limitation is there just uh, center computer is uh, controlled by only limited number of computer so computer software was limited for maintenance scheduling control and data collection a backup computer was usually required uh, we are using software based on the machine so it is uh, required to store the all the data for um, Uh, future purpose so quite it is difficult for data collection controlling and it will be required more maintenance so this is a important drawback for the dnc system so this is the drawback of the cnc dnc so next part that is a adaptive control system so what is meaning of the adaptive control uh, so The concept of the adaptive control aims to reduce the in-process machining time by the responding in manner so as to make optimal use of the machine capability. And uh, adaptive control aims at real-time control in the operating parameters such as cutting speed, feeds, depth of cut, etc., which go on adjusting automatically so as to use the maximum available spindle power. limit the deflection of the cutter to the permissible value limit the cutting tool temperature to its permissible value limit the vibration amplitude of its cutter to its permissible value so the variability in the machining condition could be due to the any of the following like uh, uh, variable geometry cut in the form of changing depth of cut so due to changing depth of width of the cut the feed rate can be reduced if the depth or width of the cut increases as machining process okay so second that is a variable workpiece hardness um, variable workpiece hardness due to the presence of hard spot and non homogeneity of the material in such a case feed rates are reduced to prevent excessive tool wear next that is a workpiece rigidity to many cases work piece rigidity varies depending on the section being machined last ear gaps during cutting in many cases the work piece geometry is such that no machining needs to be performed for certain sections sections due to the presence of the ear gap and the feed rate in such cases should be increased to the maximum to reduce the machining time time okay so these are the some situations where adaptive control system we can use so next point is a types of adaptive control system in that first type is adaptive control optimization uh, you can see one formula is there uh, ip is equal to mu by tau so where ip is index of performance mu is a material removal rate tau is a tool wear rate so ip we can measure overall performance the system keeps a measure on various parameters such as cutting torque tool temperature tool wear and machine variables that time we can use this type first that is adaptive control optimization so this is the type first we will see in type second this is a second type that is a 
adaptive control constraint that is ACC you can see one image is there in that process variables parameters it is torque force vibration is there used uh, one roller is there just uh, traveling through the sheets now we can see the one graph is there uh, tool travel versus um, feed for tooth in that in this form of the adaptive control constraints are placed on the measured process variables the system measures parameters such as cutting forces torque spindle motor power and current tool wear tool deflection cutting temperature vibration etc with the help of the sensors and transducer okay so uh, advantages of the control system uh, we'll see it increases uh, the production rate by adjusting the different variables to achieve higher metal removal rate second it increases the tool life by efficient and uniform use of the tool cutter third it also increases the machine life by avoiding the vibrations and deflection due to the high cutting force and uh, there are less chances to human errors because of less involvement of person in that automatic system we are using uh, more facility machine so obviously there is a uh, less labor uh, because of the everything is doing by machine on so here human uh, error chances will be less it provides more safety due to the part machine so it will be give more safety easier part program easy to give part program increase accuracy by meeting tolerance as a constraint you will get more accuracy in terms of the tolerance so these are the some advantages of the adaptive control system so this is over you about the adaptive control system now you can see this is the adaptive control system what is the use of this adaptive control what is the objective what is the uh, different different area here we can use the adaptive control system in the form of the depth of cut hardness rigidity cutting this is the types of first type adaptive control optimization second type adaptive control constraint and overall advantages of the adaptive control system so uh, our chapter is uh, over so we will see one extra that is a continuous point syllabus one part is here water jet cutting cnc so this is the industrial tool capable of the cutting wide variety of the material up to 200 mm thickness using very high pressure that is a 210 to 620 mega pascal jet of the water or a mixture of the water and abrasive instant now you can see this is the machine setup is there and this is a that partial section of that machine so you can observe that uh, that material they can uh, cutting up to the 200 mm thickness and up to by using this various high pressure that is a 210 to 620 mega pascal so some advantages of this water jet cutting machine is a wide variety material can be cut by using this machine we can cut the different different types of material part deformation avoided burr free cutting smoke free rapid setup time no tooling required reduce secondary operations so these are the advantages of the water jet jet cutting cnc machines so these are the some objective questions related from this chapter on cnc machine tools like this some mcq question is there um, so here our chapter is over so thank you thank you so much